I'm going to present two MLB picks in this video, and both of them are premium plays. I rarely share two such plays on the same day, so I hope you'll enjoy them. A quick reminder that all of my premium picks are shared at mjpicks.com. We have a slate of 13 MLB games today, but to my surprise, we only have one team qualifying under any of my 19 betting systems. After analyzing this game deeper, does it sound like a solid value wager? Let's find out. The betting strategy in question is called the Hot Bats number 1. Back in 2019, I analyzed a big dataset containing information about 7 full MLB seasons. At that time, the following rules generated good profit. Bet against the home team if they are coming off two straight wins in which they scored at least six runs in each of those victories. Since then, this betting angle has done an okay job. Indeed, during the 2019 to 2023 seasons, we have accumulated a positive plus 1% return on investment. I know this looks like a tiny gain, but making a profit over 623 bets is impressive nonetheless. Now, what about the current season? This system has suggested to make 98 bets, which have yielded a plus 1.5% ROI. In short, nothing spectacular, but we are still in the black. Which team should we bet today by following this set of rules? Let's take a look at the Dodgers for a moment. They are playing at home tonight, and they are coming off a couple of wins where they put 9 and 7 runs on the board respectively. So, by following the rules of the Hot Bats number 1 betting strategy, my first pick for today goes to LA's opponents, the San Francisco Giants. Their money line currently lies between plus 110 and plus 120 in American format which equates to a range between 2.10 and 2.20 in this amount. After doing my due diligence, I like this play and this is viewed as a premium betting pick. Blake Snell gets the start for the Giants. He was bad in his first six starts of the season. He seemed to be bothered by some injuries. Since coming back, he has given up zero run in 12 innings and just two hits, wow! What a difference! How will he handle the Dodgers lineup tonight? In 13 career starts against this divisional foe, Snell has presented a solid 2.59 ERA. I am confident that he can get the job done. On LA's side, River Ryan will make his MLB debut. After missing the first two months with shoulder fatigue, he has fared well in his five outings, albeit he ended up pitching just 16 and one-third innings in total. Given his lack of MLB experience and the fact that he has not pitched a lot this year, he seems unlikely to perform well tonight. Let's shoot for a second pick after this short break, where you will see a picture of my youngest son's baseball team that won his second tournament in two weeks yesterday. They won the final by a 15-14 score in dramatic fashion, which was stressful for all of us, but oh so rewarding. I am all over the under in the Detroit Cleveland game. More specifically, I took under 7.5 runs earlier this morning. Cleveland has scored the 10th most runs in the big leagues this year, but I think Tarek Skubal can quiet their bats. He leads the entire league in terms of the famous whip statistic that I value so much. Owning a 0.88 whip stat is fantastic, and that's after presenting a 0.90 figure last season. He's been very dominant. Also, it's not like Cleveland's offense had been on fire. In their past 8 contests, they have averaged just 2.1 runs scored per game, 
with an abysmal 174 batting average. Ouch! Meanwhile, the Guardians are set to go with Carlos Carrasco. He was quite awful last year and he was off to an equally bad start to his 2024 campaign. However, did you notice how he improved recently? He has squandered three runs or fewer in each of his past five outings. During this time frame, he has posted a 3.33 ERA. In 31 career appearances against Detroit, Carrasco owns a decent 3.56 ERA. I think that facing Tarek Skubal will motivate him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the elite hurler. I am truly envisioning a low-scoring affair here, so let's go with the under in this AL Central Division matchup. Subscribe to this sports betting channel hosted by a former 15-year university statistics teacher who's been crushing online bookies since 1999, as reported by many media outlets. I am grateful that you are following my work, amigos. I'm Professor MJ, subscribe to this channel and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.